Hey, Nyakun here. So in today's video, I want to show you this card that I saw on IG, Instagram, right? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Probably let's try and use breakdance to make it. And the fun thing is that in this card, there is no code, like zero code written. The only thing that you actually need to know is how to combine classes. So if you know how to combine classes to achieve something, you can make this card. All right, so let's go into um, the back end. So this is the back end. And as you can see, so this is what it is. And everything over here is made in breakdance with no code written apart from combining classes inside the selector. All right, so let's clean everything and start from fresh. Um, start from a fresh or start from scratch. So this uh, this is gone. And, and also I'm going to go into the selector and delete everything over here. Okay. So first and first, let's add a section. And for this section, I'll go in here. So there's our section and I'm going to make sure that the height is viewport. So we do have a section for the viewport. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that it's aligned vertically, center, center like that. And let me add in a grid. So there's the grid that is going to hold all the cards. So there's the first grid. This is grid. And in this grid, we do we do need it to be four. So we already have four here. We can leave that alone unless you want to change it to something else. So that being done, let's add in our very first um, div. So this is the div that will hold the, um, the designs. So you can see that when you hover, there's something behind it. And then there's this card. But there is a main div that is holding both of them. So that is this div. This the dev, and let's give this dev a class. Let's give it a class called my main dev. So in here, let's say my main dev. All right. So um, yeah, my main dev is okay. So that is the main dev. And the next thing is to add in the thing that was behind it and the card that was on top of it. And the thing behind it, I used an image. So this main dev being selected. I'm going to go into add and then look for an image. You can use this image or you can use the other image element that breakdance offers. So this image is added. I am going to add the next thing, which is the card on top. And that's and that card is a div. So add the card. And then I'm going to go into container with the height. I'm going to make sure that this is 350 pixels. Click back on that image too. We can also give it a height of 300 and 50 pixels make sure that um the object fit is cover and also you can make this 100 percent if you want i'm going to make it 100 percent, so that is fine the next thing is to come back to this div and then also make sure that this is 100 percent. so that is good um you remember that when you hover on my main dev the rest of the items are animating um themselves so to do that let's make sure that this image has a class so let's call it my image or my img and then this div let's go um to advance and also give it a class called my dev you can give it a class that is appropriate these classes are just for um tutorial purposes so add that and that is good so this everything has a class over here when we hover on my main dev, this image rotates negative five degrees and this dev rotates five degrees and it comes down hundred pixels. So we are going to do that when we get there. But you can see that this dev is on top of the image. We are going to also do that. But before that, let's click back on the image and then go into styling. I want to give it a body radius of 25 pixels. That is good. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose an image that I do want. I'm going to choose this. So that is fine. We do have that. Clicking back on our div. Let's style this more. Over here, I'm going to go into both that and also give it 25 pixels. Go into pattern. And for pattern, I'm going to give it 20 pixels on each side. So 20 here and just click on apply to all, which is really good. And I think that is um that is good. Um, the next thing that I am going to do is populate the div with the information that we do need. So let me click on add, and I'm going to add a div inside, and that div is going to hold um a heading, and it is also going to hold a normal text. So that is this div, and with this heading, I'm just going to change everything here to more blocks, right? And then change this one to H two. 
go into the styling. If I did have a preset, I would have applied the preset, but since I don't, I'm going to use 1.2 REMs. And then for the ad, uh, for the weight, I'm going to change this on to 500 pixels, which is fine. And let's click back on this div, go into layout and give it a gap of 10, which is pretty good. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add that, um, the quotation thing that we do have over here. So that quotation, we can do it manually by clicking on add. And then we're going to add another div, which is going to be that. And then I'm going to add an icon. So icon, and then I'm going to add a text. Let me go into um, lower it some and then copy some generated text and paste it over here. All right. So with this, I'm going to go into um, the styling panel, going to typography and the font size 0 0.85, which is fine. Just make sure it's REM, which is good. All right, so we can reduce the um, the text to this, and this is fine. Uh, this being done, I'm gonna make sure that I give it a bit of like separation. Um, so the gap to do that, I'm gonna go into layout, but make sure that this is selected, which has the icon and this text going to layout, and then for horizontal, I'm gonna make sure that there's a space in between. Oh, sorry, that is not what I should have done. I want to make sure that everything over here is spaced in between. So this one, which is our inner div. So this very one horizontal, make sure this is space in between. And then I wanted to do the space in between from the desktop. So this is what happens. All right, let's give this um, a background color. So background color of this, which is, um, which is good. All right. So the next thing probably that we want to do is to stack this div on top of this image uh, probably i want to give it a bit more of um pardon let's make this one like 40 pixels right i think 40 pixels probably too much maybe 30 pixels all right uh let me save that okay so this which is our dev and uh, since it's selected i'm going to come down to this search panel and then type in position because we want this div to be on top of that image to do that we are going to use absolute positioning so that being typed down here i'm just going to click on this cog icon and then make sure that this is absolute so that um that is that we have stacked this on top of the image now we have added all our classes and it is time for us to animate it and from there, we are going to see how everything feels. All right. So the idea over here is that when we hover on, let me just click here and change the name to inner um, dev, right? And then we can leave that one. And let's say, um, uh, okay, let's do this one inner dev rather, and then change this one name to main dev. All right. And that is good. So when we hover on main dev, we want our image to rotate five degrees and then we want our inner dev to rotate um or we want our image to rotate negative five degrees and our inner dev to rotate five degrees and also translate down 100 pixels so to do that let's go into our selector panel and over here what we want to do is we want to hover on my main dev and then we want the animation to happen so to let's click here and then type in dot my main dev. So that is the first thing you have to type. What do we want to do? We want to hover on it. So let's put in um, a column and then type in hover. So we are saying that when we hover on my main dev, we want an animation to affect my image. So let's give it a space and type in my IMG. But remember that you put, you have to put in your period sign to make sure that this is, if this is a class, put in the period sign. If this is an ID, make sure you put on, um, you, you put the hash sign or the pound sign, whatever they call that. So um, this is what we have done. I'm just gonna click on add and that is good. So let's click on this edit button. And then in here, what we do want to actually do is to cause the rotation to happen. So clicking on effect, that is where we can find the rotation. We can go into transform and click on add. Let me bring this out. And then over here, I'm going to click, um, look for rotate. 
we want to rotate on the y axis so let's give this one like a big rotate so that we can actually like see it so we give it like 35 so that is done um the next thing that we want to do is that we also want to um rotate the the dev that is on time you can see that when i hover on my main dev it is happening right that is cool um the next thing is i'm just going to click on here and i'm going to copy what is in the front then go back and i'm just going to paste it here and then give it a space and then i'm going to add this class which is period sign my dev so we are saying that when we hover on my main dev we want something to happen to my dev so let's click on add and then over here we are going to click on this edit button and then when we go into effect so for effect i am going to go into going to transform right and then let me drag this over here and click on add item and then change this one to rotate and then make this one also let's say 35 right uh, let's make this negative 35 we'll be back we'll fix it later so negative 35 and then let's close this and then click on add again over here we want to bring it down which is translate so let's look for translate and then for we want to translate on the x axis so let's make this one 100 pixels all right so we can close it and then we can come here and then you can see that things are moving like really crazy as you can see and it's not smooth enough so to make sure that this is smooth so that we can actually see what is happening i'm going to go back into our selector and then for this i'm um, sorry the one that we are animating which is my image and my dev i'm going to click on the edit sign or the edit icon and then come into effect and then on transition we want to transition smoothly so let's give this one 300 pixels so when i hover on here you can see that the one behind it is doing like a really nice job so going back into our selector i'm going to go into my dev so click on the edit sign going to effect change the transition make sure that this is also 300 pixels and then you can change this one to ease if you want you can make sure you click on all properties so you can see that now this is what it is doing but this is not what we actually want so we are going to fix it all right um let's go back into uh this very one for effect let's go into transform and then make sure that click this rotate make this one negative negative five which is cool and then open this one too and then come into effect i'm going to go into transform bring this out so rotate i'm going to make this one this is five and then trans, uh, translate as 100 so when i have it here it is going that side so probably we want to translate on the y axis so it comes down smoothly like that so you can see this um this is how you create that card and the next thing is let's say if you want to change the background color so i'm going to go into background color and then over here i am going to give us something like uh this uh something that we can actually see all right so you can see that our background color has totally changed um by using by combining the classes so um if you are recapping this what you are actually um have learned is how to combine classes to achieve an effect that you do want so let's say we can change this one to click so when we click on this let this happen um you can do more with javascript but also css gives you the opportunity to also do this um this kind of like hover effect and other things like that the next thing that probably we should do now is to duplicate the cards right so if we duplicate the card will the effect still work it should so i'm just going to duplicate and then duplicate and then duplicate all right let's close let's collapse everything and i'm gonna save it so when you hover you can see that when you hover on this it doesn't go and affect that everything does um that's the animation when they have been hovered all right let's save this and then go into the front refresh this and then you can see that this is what we do have a really nice um animation oh it looks like our button is not it's not properly it's not properly done so let's give this one a coat all right let's put this over here and i'm going to change the color to black right mm, all right let me just all right let me just save that and then since duplicating is really easy i'm just going to delete everything and then for this i'm going to duplicate it four times and save it and then come out here and then refresh it so when you hover you do have this nice coming down 
rotate animation as i said i saw this design on instagram and i thought it would be nice to showcase it for you guys to see and also to let you know that you can build these without writing even one line of code as long as you know how to combine classes it is like really simple to create some of these animations all right let me snack um yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can um if you did like the video too you can give it a thumbs up and also if you're looking for a component library for breakdance i do have a component library called more blocks that you can join the link is going to be in the description down below thank you for watching